Okay. <clears throat> From uh, Clownfish TV's own Pirates and Princesses. Dot net. Um, on Earth Day, fans hope Disney World will stop destroying forests for solar farms. <laughs> oh, yeah, and and this this um, kind of dovetails with something that I was I was considering just recently. Um, Doug Tenaple uh, posted a video uh, today or yesterday or whenever, sometime very recently. Uh, talking about Biden claiming that he cut, you know, massively the carbon emissions or whatever, and pointed out that really the only way to do that would be to embrace nuclear power, which obviously the Democrats are not going to do that because the left hates nuclear power in the same way that they fucking hate coal and natural gas and petroleum and, you know, every other fucking thing. Um, but anyway, we'll go through this article and then I'll I'll, I'll mention... You know, my thoughts on, on that other video real quick. Uh, for Earth Day of 2021, the Walt Disney Company announced plans to construct two separate solar plants within Walt Disney World. The two plants should be able to output 150 megawatts of power, which, when combined with the already existing plants, will amount to 40% of the resort's total power usage. That's a fairly impressive amount, all things considered. Uh, there's just one problem with this announcement on Earth Day. In order to build this level of solar capture, Disney will likely uh, be destroying many hundreds of acres of forests and wildlife habitats. <coughs> I will say this. Um, I haven't been to Disney World since... 97, I think, was the last time we ever went there. Um, and, uh, I don't remember how many, uh, we didn't write, uh, like, we went to Disney World several times, uh, when I was a kid, um, I don't know, at least a half dozen times, maybe, maybe even, you know, seven or eight, I, I can't remember for sure, um, you know, there for a while it was kind of like, you know, just our thing. It was like when we got to go on a summer vacation, that's what we fin that's what my family did. Um you know, later we went to, you know, other places, Grand Canyon, Rocky Mountains, whatever. Um but uh anyway. <coughs> um I don't remember how many times we you know, I actually got to ride the spaceship Earth, but at least twice and maybe three times uh, I wrote it. And, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, that's at Epcot, um, the great big geodesic dome uh, or globe, or whatever uh, thing that, you know, this, you know, it's the, it's the biggest uh, structure there. It's the, the symbol of, the, of that park or whatever. Uh, that thing is called the spaceship earth. And there's a ride inside of it. Um, Tell you the truth, I don't even remember what all you know uh, is in the ride, but it's like apparently you know the whole thing is like solar panel covered in solar panels or whatever apparently or something. It's it's somehow solar powered, and so the ride is solar powered. Except one of the things you noticed about it every single fucking time that I rode this thing, like I said, don't remember if it's two times, three times, whatever, but every time I rode it. I remember distinctly that the most annoying fucking thing about it is that, ah, because the ride is solar powered, it stops running very frequently. Like, you know, I mean, maybe they've you know, changed that by now. It has, after all, been a long time since I've been there, but it was really fucking annoying back in the day going there and trying to ride this thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, ah, it stopped. And I guess they had to switch to, you know, to like, you know, an alternate power source to keep it going. And then it tries to go back to solar power at some point, and then it has to stop again because, oh, we ran out of juice. And it's like, you're not advertising solar power very well. It's like, you're basically telling me that, yeah, we should definitely not do solar power. This is a bad idea. <coughs> 
Uh, anyway. Already, <clears throat> damn it, <clears throat> already Disney has chopped down enough forests that you could fit the entire area of Magic Kingdom in the cleared fields of solar panels twice over. Shit. Uh, situated between two massive preservation areas, <clears throat> Walt Disney World. Uh, shit. Oh, fuck, it's 2.30. I get this finished. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Walt Disney World has a unique position as being a significant connecting point between the Lake Marion Creek Wildlife Management Area and the Hilochi, I don't know, uh, wildlife area. However, the clear cutting of huge forest areas along the Daniel Webster Western Tollway by Disney for solar panels has already limited the wildlife corridor between Florida's huge wilderness sanctuaries. While Disney touts solar panels and their reduction of carbon emissions, it should be noted that the creation of solar panels, usually in China, is an extremely polluted process. And while I'm not against solar panels or solar energy, I'm very much against turning green spaces into fields of desert silicon. Is that Geeky Sparkle's name? Cambria Pratt? I don't know. Um, Others feel the same and are making their voices heard. In response to Disney's announcement, some Disney fans are begging the company to stop destroying forests and instead put these solar panels over the parking lots of Disney, uh, uh, parking lots Disney has already in place. Hey, you know, and that's a good idea, especially since uh, it would shade people's cars. And let me tell you, in the fucking summer heat, oh man, that would be much appreciated. <sighs> Hmm. Um, with parking areas nearly deserted of plant and wildlife already, the solar panels would not impact Florida's environment while additionally having the benefit of creating shade for parked cars, exactly like I said, in the sweltering Orlando sun. Legoland. God, is, is Legoland? Is that a thing now in Florida? I don't know. Like I said, it's, yeah, haven't been there since 97. Um, Legoland already has this concept partially in place, so it's certainly doable. <sighs> Although, at a likely higher cost than Disney destroying massive numbers of trees, selling their lumber for profit, and then installing the units close to the ground. Maybe I'll put these new solar installations above the... um, Okay. Um. Man, I'm tired. Uh, Almost done. Almost done. (laughs) Last article. Um, The impact on the environment is so severe that I'm taking the unusual step of also advocating in an article for Disney to act in a specific way. Given that solar plants of this size are likely to require many hundreds of acres of cleared space, I also join in asking Disney on this Earth Day to please not destroy the forests and habitats of the Walt Disney World Resort. Please respect your position as a bridge between two major wildlife sanctuaries and the importance of Reedy Creek for that reason. If Disney builds the solar panels over the Magic Kingdom and Epcot parking lots, that would give them somewhere in the realm of 200 acres of solar panels. That's a far, far improved situation than the alternatives Disney is likely planning on. Ugly as fuck, all those fucking solar panels. Uh, that's the end of it. All right. Um, if we're all truly on the side of the environment, 
<laughs> they're not. I'm, you know, come on. We know they're not. Um, let's protect it rather than clear cutting it. There are there are excellent places to put solar panels at Disney World, and there are places that destroy wildlife. Given that trees are our best tools at carbon capture, very true. It's a shame to destroy hundreds of acres of them. We'll be watching to see where Disney decides, and whether they're deserving of accolades or scorn. I'm betting on scorn. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Well, I'm not going to bother to comment, but I would definitely bet on them being deserving of scorn. Uh, so, I guess... <sighs> oh, that's that. Anyway, um, so, with regards to... Um, look, it is true... I mean, it, Look, for the near term, um, coal power plants... Uh, natural gas power plants, which are significantly cleaner than coal. Uh, those are perfectly reasonable um, things for people to use right now. Um, obviously, in time, one should expect them to be phased out. Uh, <sighs> Nuclear power is, has obvious advantages, but it also has obvious drawbacks. Um. Uh, really, nuclear power—the best place to use it—is in space. You know, where you you really need a whole lot of bang for your buck up there. So we should really use you know, re really use nuclear power for space exploration. It's funny that nowadays it's like that don't want to do that. You know, some ridiculous idea that oh we're going to pollute space, and it's like. Space is already full of radiation. You, you know, did you not know that? You know, or complaints about how, oh, you're putting all this dangerous stuff on a, on a rocket to blast it off into space to provide very little power. And it's like, you, you're talking about for a space probe that's going to Saturn or wherever. And it's like, how exactly do you expect it to generate electricity way the fuck out there? You're way the fuck away from the sun. The solar panels ain't going to do shit. You know, your battery, it takes years to get there. Battery's not going to be a thing. It's like, no, you, you need, you know, <clears throat> you need plutonium, folks. Anyway, um, so the thing about solar and wind, a lot of people want us to be like, oh, we need completely green energy. We need solar plants and wind plant or wind farms or whatever. Uh, okay. Um, first of all, solar plants, you know, wind farms, they're ugly as fuck, okay? Second, they require a great deal of destruction of the local scenery, of deforestation, um, wildlife habitat removal, etc. Um, although solar panels uh, are not as destructive, many solar power plants uh, use mirrors to reflect sunlight onto a central point, I believe for the purpose of boiling water, basically, you know, same thing as most other power plants, is to boil water to, you know, to turn a turbine you know, to create steam to turn the turbine to generate electricity. Um, and birds that that fly, you know, over the solar power plant and across one of those focused, you know, basically, it's, I mean, it's not like on Star Trek or something, laser type thing, It's not, you know, but it's it's kind of a laser. It's like a magnifying glass burning insects. Well, it's a much bigger mirror and it will fucking light those birds up. So kills a lot of birds that way. Also, you know, people talk about, well, we'll you know, put it in the desert and it won't bother anything. It's like the desert is home to a number of, you know, threatened or near threatened or endangered species. It's like you're destroying massive amounts of habitat when you, you know, when you turn a desert into a fucking solar whatever. 
you know, there are no easy solutions here, folks. Um, and uh, those great big fucking, you know, wind turbines, they chop up birds. You know, like, <laughs> this, you know, it's like a Cuisinart for, you know, for, for, for large birds. Um, <clears throat> and also, uh, these, obviously, these things don't work in bad weather. Um, so one of the problems here is that when people say we should have solar and we should have wind, they're right, but they're wrong. They're wrong because they want those to replace big power plants, centralized power production. You know, they want the same thing, centralized power production, but they want it to be solar or they want it to be wind. And it's like, that's a bad idea. What's a good idea that no one for some reason ever really talks about is um, decentralized power generation. It, you know, it's like if Biden wants to spend a shit ton of taxpayer money to fund something, maybe you should consider uh, paying to have everybody or at least all the people who can't afford to do it themselves um, to put up solar panels on their houses. You know, to put up a small wind turbine, you know, one of those, what are they, like five kilowatt jobs or something, in their yard. Like, those are doable projects, and they might not, you know, be able to power your house completely, but it would reduce the amount of draw that your house has from the grid. And if everybody did that... You know, it would be very helpful. And also, if every small community had its own, you know, small power plant to provide just for its community, you know, just for its power needs, instead of having to have these massive transmission wires that carry, you know, current from hundreds of miles away, or sometimes thousands of miles away, um, you know, because it's really weird, actually. It's like sometimes, like, there's actually a power plant very close to where I live, but my town doesn't get power from there. We get it from someplace else, and it's like, why aren't we getting it from the one close to us? <laughs> it's, it's stupid. Um, but um, anyway, but yeah, decentralization is a good idea. Decentralization of of you know power production is a very good idea, and you know small scale wind and solar would be very helpful. It would not solve all of the problems, but it would make a significant fucking dent. So that would be my advice. But who the fuck's gonna listen to me? <sighs> all right, until the next one.